Oh. Let's do it. Come on. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can hear something. Wait, why did you stop? Sorry, I just I got confused. All right, well let's do it again. I want to see it again. Just, yeah, I just want to see. It. Just give me a second. Saw the man, but not the dog. I wanted to check what was in this. Alex, really? Oh. I want to see what it's gonna do. Well, I did too. I just wanted to not miss whatever these cues were. Oh well. Return to the crazy. too far out of range. What am I supposed to do here? get it. I think I'm doing something right, but... There we go. Oh! Jonas? insane uh who are are you who are you on the listen bob tail shave tail sleep me time is possible i i i don't know what 
you mean, so I can't... Bob to Leave, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex! What? <laughs> fucking aesthetic after here. I appreciate it. Alex! Alex! That's pretty bright Alex? for 11. Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were... I think so. I don't know. God. Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. No, I'm... Way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Jonas, you might be onto something. Don't fuck with powers that be. General wife lesson. You live much longer and happier that way. If you live longer, you have the chance to do something. Alright. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. A little help? Just have a little faith. See? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. I don't remember the last time anybody has watched How does this thing... Fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, oh, boy. I don't know. Too real. Too real. <laughs> uh, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. Oh, maybe it's using army terms over the radio dead. was not a good idea. 
in a place where soldiers anyone? died. Seems all ghosty and spooky. I think someone was there, but I don't know. Hmm. Hold on. We're up here. So, a cave? Was this supposed to be the thing? I guess that was the cave. And it's connected to the Adler estate. But we somehow got up here. Not no Morse code. That's the tour guide. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there. Would there? Nada. Das! Ah! Jesus! Communications tower? Alex? Alex? Is that- Yeah, it's me. Oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank Vishnu. I- you guys went into that hole and- bunch of stuff I have no idea what happened I just woke up like 15 minutes ago I, I saw the light on in the uh, the tower thing hey did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden <laughs> really Ren, how are you calling us phones don't work here it's it's a code written on this list here but it's not a normal phone I can't call out I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods it's been like like just the worst thing ever just Defcon Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, what? Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? What's that sound? Is there a cat crying in there? Wait, Ren, Ren someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on in a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you, of course. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I, I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? Yeah, I, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's like... I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies. Ren, are you still there? Nope. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. Yeah, Clarissa sounded like she actually needed help, so I don't want to waste time. He's at a relay point. She's in what looks like would be the end game area. <laughs> All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. I don't know how long this actual game is. At all. It could be like a five hour game, it could be like a two hour game, an hour game, who fucking gotta be two hours. But, multiple playthroughs. If it's a short game, we'll definitely do multiple playthroughs in different styles. Oh, 
don't want to get down the ladder. Oh, oh I thought he just jumped. Harden Tower. <laughs> Couldn't have named it anything else, huh? What the guide? From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point-to-point -point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, in 1988, it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. Dick Dick Hardin. From 1941 to 1972, this communications tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point to point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception. Oh. In the drums in. I can vape to this. This should be off. Take a long way to get to it, pretty much. Just curious, but, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Sounds about right. Yep. That. Those were the events. Good talk. Is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Let's pull up the thing. Information. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? Fort Milner was what the if home they of the just US Army said Radio it was decommissioned, school, and there's like, more than still people, take its like, curriculum. in there, During the years like, it was doing open, stuff. The school trained troops from the various armed services and applied oral communication. Whatever you're suggesting Radio is happening in there, we have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. And what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking, listen, like, using an early what if, form of computer just, technology. What if all the stuff that's like happened to us, to the stuff we've been seeing, is like a direct result of some government secret project? And it still resides there like, to this day. what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something? Sure, I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... The school trained yeah, troops from the, the various government. armed Let's services in applied oral it's communication. It's just my going premise right now, so I don't know. Keep a tally. It's very much it's just like they train them for comms. It's, it's a, a signet training post. 
system information technology, something like that. You know what, you know what I'm talking about. Everyone's played MGS3, they know what it stands for. <laughs> so he says what the radio sound like as I listened to it while the other conversation was going on. Spooky. Yeah, 